simple things like games in a recreational hall, like uh, playing pool or, or foosball, uh, if you have a visual impairment, it makes it a little more difficult. Great to see Mike Keel. He's been passing along that message to those who work at the Hiram G. Andrews Center for a long time, and they, they want to get it across to area youth. And today is Barrier Awareness Day. High school seniors were invited to take part in that program that helps them better understand the challenges people with disabilities face every day. Maria Miller has the story. Mike Keel knows firsthand how challenging the world can be for people with disabilities. Shot in the neck at only 19, Keel became paralyzed, and for the past 20 years, he's relied on a special chair to get around. But he's never let it get him down. He finished college and even got a master's degree before landing his job at the Hiram G. Andrews Center, where he helps others with their challenges. And on Thursday, he helped show high school students across the region what everyday life can be like through the eyes of the disabled. Every year we try to draw a little attention to the environmental barriers that people with disabilities face. Um, things ranging from uh, cracked or broken sidewalks to uh, um, uh, steps or, or uh, uh, angles that wheelchairs might not flow across very easily. Students from Greater Johnstown and Portage gave it a try, from traversing through a course of hills and bumps on a manual wheelchair. It is really tough. I'm tired as I am. I don't have any, I'm not athletic or anything, but Realizing what they have to go through, it's a lot. It's really tough. To playing pool with special goggles used to simulate blindness. It was pretty hard. Yeah, you could hardly see out of the goggles at all. It's teaching us how, like other people that have disabilities, how they live. But over everything else, Kill said he just wants to show people that anything is possible. And on Thursday, it was clear he was an inspiration. It's just amazing how somebody can be so resilient from stuff like that. Sometimes it's a little, uh, obstacles are a little more challenging than others, but um, like anything, life wouldn't be a lot of fun without them. In Johnstown, Maria Miller, 6 News.